Hey YouTube, it's ICU, and today we have something very quick and important to discuss in the world of iOS as well as jailbreaking. Before we get into that though, if you're interested in winning a brand new 9.7 inch iPad Pro or an iPhone SE, just be sure to rate this video up and there will actually be a card on your screens now with additional details on the giveaway. It's going to be absolutely epic. Do not miss out on your chance to win one of these awesome new iDevices, both of which were released to the public last week. All right. So let's go ahead and get straight into this because speaking of releases, guess what? The unthinkable has happened and a seemingly never endless stream of minor iOS 9 updates. Apple has issued the second 9.3.x update. This is a very, very minor revision, guys. We have iOS 9.3.2 beta 1. So it's not even funny how small this update actually is and what it actually includes because guess what? We really don't have an official change log with features from iOS 9.3.1 to 9.3.2 because it doesn't really offer anything at all. In fact, inside of the developer release notes section, and by the way, I'm here on Apple's developer portal, which is at least partially accessible without having to sign in. As you can see down below at the bottom for the post date, it's today's date, April 6th, 2016. But as I was saying, inside of the developer release notes for 9.3.2, it actually lists and mentions developer specific issues and workarounds for said issues for dictionary, iBooks, Safari, and the iOS simulator. So that's really it, mostly developer related issues and probably minor under the hood performance enhancements and just things that are probably so trivial that Apple has noticed since iOS 9.3.1 was released to the masses last week. So when we're talking about iOS 9.3.2 versus iOS 9.3.1, we first of all have to take a look at the changes inside of iOS 9.3.1 because guess what? Even that firmware doesn't actually offer much over iOS 9.3. It was only issued because of a complication that was brought about when users downloaded third-party applications from the App Store with overly large deep linking files. Once said applications were downloaded, then certain web links would cause other applications to actually crash and there was really no permanent fix for it. In fact, rebooting did not solve the issue. So, iOS 9.3.1 entered the world of iOS last week. Now we have iOS 9.3.2 again, which likely just brings very minor under the hood performance enhancements to iOS 9.3 in general, even over iOS 9.3.1, because remember that was only issued to correct a previous complication, that deep linking file. This one of course also caters to developers with very specific complications for a few select things. So believe it or not, iOS 9.3.2 is actually a pretty good sign. It shows us that Apple is intent on fixing up iOS 9.3.x and getting it ready to stop developing for iOS 9.3.x and to then move on and focus their efforts entirely on iOS 10. Again, it shows that they're trying to perfect things that they have yet to do that, but that they're working on it and that they will soon cease development on iOS 9 or at least kind of pull things back until we see iOS 10 beta one and some of the subsequent betas and of course the inevitable public release later this fall, which is absolutely great for jailbreaking. So while this could push back the jailbreak, which is definitely unfortunate, it means that this one is probably going to be the absolute most stable jailbreak we've seen in a very long time. And once Apple starts diverting their resources toward iOS 10 development, it means that we likely will not receive an iOS 9.3.x jailbreak patch once the jailbreak is eventually released for even longer. And what's actually interesting to think about is that the changes inside of 9.3.2, being the minor ones, were probably intended for iOS 9.3.1 before Apple had to rush that firmware out to fix that issue with the deep linking files. So these changes were probably already on the board before iOS 9.3.1 was seeded and probably even before the deep linking issue was discovered in the first place. So this just shows that Apple is preparing for the future and for a stable current version of iOS being 9.3.x. As I've said a number of times throughout my videos, iOS 9.3 will likely be the last iOS 9 
update. That's not to say that we won't see other potential 9.3.x releases, but just that we won't see any major improvements to iOS 9 beyond what we have inside of iOS 9.3. Of course, once the next jailbreak is released, though, we probably will see a patch for that in another minor 9.3.x update, but as I said before, it probably will take longer for them to issue that than it would if the jailbreak had been released for a pre-iOS 9.3 firmware, because they of course would have been able to roll the fix into 9.3.x. So what do you guys think about everything? I really want to hear your thoughts. Let me know down below in the comment section. I'm also going to have two comments listed there that I want you to vote on. Do you think jailbreak developers should jump the gun right now and release a jailbreak for iOS 9.3.1? Or do you want them to for iOS 9.3.2? Or possibly even another 9.3.x update if there are still issues inside of iOS 9.3.2 that need to be worked out before we can have an absolute stable jailbreak. Again, let me know your thoughts in the comments. Don't forget to rate up whichever one you're most interested in. And just remember, guys, this is an exciting time because we're going to get a new jailbreak shortly. Both Taiji as well as Pangu are indeed working on new utilities. Remember, the entire reason Pangu actually released a jailbreak for iOS 9.1 and not the latest public firmware at the time was because they were past the exploit from someone else because they're working on new utilities themselves. Cells. So while it just seems like Apple is releasing iOS update after iOS update right now, that will start to slow down soon and a new jailbreak is hopefully right around the corner. So don't forget I'm going to keep you guys completely updated for absolutely everything related to iOS and jailbreaking. Click the subscribe button below if you have yet to. And if you don't want to miss out on my all new iPad Pro and iPhone SE giveaway, just be sure to watch the two aforementioned videos that I had discussed previously. I will actually have a playlist up on your screens right now with unboxing videos videos for the SE and iPad Pro 9.7 inch. Again, giveaway details can be found in both of those. I really do hope you guys like this video. Remember, I strive to bring you the most current and up-to-date information, which of course is always changing and shifting. Things are dynamic, not static, and all we can really do is predict and adjust once new changes are thrown our way because of course we don't have inside information from Apple. We just have to go with the flow of things and we have to see what they do. This has always been a cat and mouse game jailbreaking will never be anything but that. Of course, like I said before, stay tuned for additional coverage. You can also like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter to be updated even more often. And until next time, this is ICU signing out. Join the iCrack Your Device community on Patreon to help out the channel and to be featured in videos similar to these top contributors. Click the link on your screens now if you're on desktop or check below.